Yeah, I've heard a lot of folks talking about Donna in 1960 to show you kind of a similar path it took. It was a Cape Verde storm, made its way through the Bahamas near Cuba, and then it took a turn right in to near Marco Island. But notice it was a weaker storm, and people talk about Donna. Donna was the last big storm to hit our coast with 120 mile an hour winds and would not be surprised to see some of those winds that strong with this storm in our viewing area. At least gusts uh, coming up to near 120. This is a massive storm and the GFS model is running right now and it's running a little stronger than anticipated. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. The GFS, the old one, takes it near Cuba, puts it up right there toward the middle keys and then right into Marco Island and then moves it right into the spine of the state. Now it's shifting off a little left into Hardy and DeSoto counties. So hurricane force winds are going to be felt here. Hurricane warnings in effect for uh, the entire viewing area. Right now in the, uh, the Euro, which is such an important model, takes it down to Cuba, but the hurricane center is thinking that is not going to be likely at this point. And that means it's not going to be disrupted by that mountainous terrain of Cuba too much. It will a little bit, but still very warm water coming in just to the southeast of Naples as a major category four or possibly five hurricane. And then get a look at this. This is a 10 mile an hour winds and there's the center. So that's where the center of the eye of the storm will be uh, right there at the time of Monday at 2 a.m. We will see our strongest winds late Sunday and into Monday early and they will be hurricane force. So uh, look out for that. Not everyone is going to see that sustained wind for a long period of time, but tropical storm force winds 50, 60, 70 miles an hour for a duration of up to five hours will be uh, the reality here along the Sun Coast and some of the inland counties, if it follows on that path, this path right here will feel hurricane force winds for nearly that long. Again, Sunday at 145, 145 mile an hour winds, and that's at 2 o'clock. We're going to start to see tropical storm force winds here uh, beginning fairly early. Now, you can see all the models have shifted left. There's still a chance we could see a little bit more shift to the left, and what that would mean for us is a bigger storm on top of that. Uh, also a heavier storm in terms of wind for Sarasota and Manatee counties. Hurricane watch to the north, all the area in red is a hurricane warning, meaning hurricane force winds are imminent in the next 48 hours. I want to show you this graphic. Now the hurricane force winds are right here, but it only projects out about a day and a half, and then that goes away. They're not going away. They're just not depicted here in this. And you can see the uh, winds up to 70 miles an hour entering into the picture on Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. So keep that in mind. Gives you a sense of what's going to be happening. So Sunday, very windy to start today, really picking up afternoon and continuing all the way up until throughout the evening and into the early morning hours on Monday, eventually exiting out of here uh, by sunrise on Monday. And the well, winds will start to calm down a little bit on then. Uh, well, as far as we're concerned, the showers and storms are scattered about now, not really associated with Irma, but we'll see more uh, through the evening. We're, we're still watching this trough set up over the lower Mississippi, Mississippi Valley, which will draw it off to the north. And that looks to be the uh, real player right now. And also that high pressure that has been to the north of it for so long. Well, for boaters, uh, it's not the best. Uh, things are deteriorating tomorrow. They'll pick up in speed, and especially over, over on Sunday. And as far as the forecast goes, 80% chance for storms. It jumps to 100% Sunday evening and Monday morning. And then after sunrise, that rain chance drops and temperatures stay very warm. And most everyone, if it goes the way it's going, will be without power on Monday. We'll be right back after this.